Hello and welcome to another video where I show you everything you need to know about the Line 6 HX Stomp. Well, actually it's not everything, it's just one effect type. But this is not the greatest FX type in the world, this is just the tribute. So because I most probably will do a single video about the Line 6 uh, HX Stomp, we go directly to the good stuff. And the good stuff is that this pedal has indeed a distortion um, pedal that's called Swedish Chainsaw. So uh, we have four control knobs on the Swedish Chainsaw. We have Drive, Bass, Treble, and when we go up a page, we have Level. I've dialed it in as exactly as I have my HMG made in Japan. That means level, low and or bass and treble at full, drive at zero. And uh, it's currently deactivated. So now let's activate the HM2 and the HX Stomp. No, uh, as you can see, no other um, effect is activated. And we have quite the difference. We have a low cut. And the low peak is at 94 or 95. That's accurate. Here it's a bit higher. We have a mid gap, 200 here, that's accurate. And then we have this huge high peak, it's a single high peak at 1k. Here we have two high peaks at 9.50 and 1.34. So these two high peaks here are way broader than on the HX Storm's chainsaw emulation. Uh, but this is way louder in volume. We have minus 39 and minus 45. Apart from that, so other than the high peak, this looks way similar. Uh, so let's decrease the travel a bit. So with travel at 8.5, looks way closer. This might be a good trick. So let's see what gain does. Here we increase, of course, the high frequencies. Otherwise, it does nothing. And here, nothing is happening. Oh, well, the low peak is actually decreasing when I increase the gain, makes it a bit tighter. Okay, so uh, to sum it up, let's uh, decrease the bass. Okay, that's what I expected. So I think we can already move to the sound comparison.
first of all, I think it's awesome that Line 6 included a dedicated Chainsaw FX block for the uh, Helix and HX Storm series. Uh, the Fractal Audio stuff that I use don't have a uh, Chainsaw pedal or Chainsaw model, which I think kind of bugs me, kind of annoys me, but I've come up with a workaround and, uh, well, since I own <laughs> all the chainsaw pedals, I can connect one to the fractal audio stuff if I want to. So no big deal for me, but might be a big thing for you. So sound wise, I think um, we got quite a bit of chainsaw flavors that can be achieved by dialing the travel control around the 8.0 to 10.0 marks you have a couple of options to get different chains of flavors you can make it basically more annoying or less annoying um, and that's cool so you can really dial it in depending on your uh, guitar sound and your amp sound however none of them were identical to the original. Uh, the closest were the 8.5 setting or 8.8, 8.7 uh, around this mark. Uh, compared to the original, I it, it sounded actually kind of strange to me because on the one hand, I thought that the HM2 had more gain and uh, when I dialed in more gain on the eject stomp, uh, nothing changed drastically or notably, notab notis no how is it called? Noticeably, noticeably, something like that. And then I dialed in some more treble and then it sounded as it had too much gain and too less gain. At the same time, which was stretch. Uh, so the one to one comparison, I think it doesn't hold up. However, uh, given the form factor and that you uh, that this can basically be your whole rig and you have a chainsaw option, this is awesome. And you can always tweak it with an EQ section afterwards. Uh, so I think you can come way closer if you want to. So, I'm currently considering uh, buying an HX Storm for a B rig or a small fly rig. And uh, as of right now, I think I wouldn't use the uh, chainsaw model here. I would actually uh, bring a dedicated HM2 pedal with me. Uh, so does uh, Christian, uh, Nightbrow's second guitar player. He uses his papers, uh, HM TMZ, with his custom HM TMZ with it. But if you want to dial in a quick chainsaw tone, uh, maybe you're in a top 40 death metal band or something, this is really awesome. And again, with the tweaking capabilities, I think you can get an awesome sound. So yeah. Let me know down in the comments, what do you think about the Helix Swedish Chainsaw Block? And if you want to support this channel, check out the links in the description. And with this said, thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe, may the force be with you and have a nice day.